poem is inspired and the spirits I have I went to sleep just like every other night. I shut my eyes, no prayer came to mind. The dream I had was so vivid. It felt so real, I thought it was lucid. But that's where I went wrong. No, this isn't a dream, this is another realm. I was in the exact same position I went to sleep in. The exact same room layout, how could I possibly be dreaming? But I couldn't move, I couldn't leave. My room was pitch black, I couldn't see a thing. I tried to turn on the lights, but it just wasn't happening. I didn't understand what was going on with me. I reached my phone, but I couldn't reach it. To call for help, someone please help me. This wasn't sleep paralysis, this was something else. It didn't feel right, I was all by myself. I couldn't leave my bed and every time that I did, I'd end up back inside it, it was so weird. I was on my back, sliding on the floor, trying and trying to get closer to that door. I tried to scream for my flatmates, but no one was coming. I tried to scream for my parents, but they weren't with me. No one can save you, not this time. This is it, you're at the end of the line. I came to the conclusion that this is the end of my life. I came to the conclusion that I just died. I thought to myself that this was it. I messed up. After all the times he saved me, he finally had enough. You see, God had my back so many different times. So many different times that I kept playing with my life. I kept sinning. I couldn't leave my old self behind. So it made sense if he decided to call it a night. But then the door of my room opened and a bright light shone in. I heard a couple of people walking in. He told me to lift my head up and open my eyes. And that's when I finally came back to life. That very same day, I decided to give my life. I was scared in case I went back to my old ways, but I thought at least I'd try. Try to be better and try to live right. Thank the Lord for believing in me one last time. The duo has been reunited, and we have one last open mic artist. Is Shah here? <laughs> Your love is like. loves me still. Even when the life I'm living is against your will. Even when I mess up, you still love me. And then I disappoint you and turn to the enemy. And now it's the end of me and I don't know what to do. I thought I disappointed you so much that you were through. Through dealing with a sinner like me because I couldn't seem to understand who I needed to be. And just when I thought you were done, you stretched forth your arms while I was having my fun. Agape, unconditional love, is the body of a man who knew no wrong, dying on the cross and paying the debt for me and my sin, even though I'm the one who got myself into this situation. I don't know how I can repay you for what you've done. Yet when you say you just want to spend time with me, all I do is run. Agape, unconditional love, is repeating yourself over and over until I get it. Until one day the message just hits. It's sending people in my life to guide me back to what's true. Because agape, unconditional love, begins and ends with you. Agape, unconditional love. It's being excited when your child who once went astray comes home. And like the prodigal son, I come home. And in your arms is where I realize that this is the best love that I was ever shown. Your love is like deep seas. It sees deep within me and loves me still. Even when the life I'm living is against your will. Even when I mess up, you still love me, and yet I disappoint you and turn to the enemy. And now it's the end of me. And when it's all said and done, there's only one love that's true. Agape, unconditional love, begins and ends.